Gracious Father, as we gather in this sacred moment, we come before you with hearts open to the wisdom of your word. Today, we embark on a journey through the lush pastures of Psalm 23, seeking lessons that resonate in the tapestry of our daily lives. As we explore this psalm, we also discern its echoes in the New Testament, finding a seamless thread of divine guidance that stretches from the hills of ancient Israel to the shores of Galilee. May this devotional prayer be a bridge between the ancient and the eternal as we contemplate the shepherd's guidance and grace. Verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. O Lord, our shepherd, we begin this prayer with a proclamation of trust. In the simplicity of these words, we find a profound truth that transcends time. You are our shepherd, and in your care there is no lack. Teach us, O Lord, to embrace contentment in the midst of a world that constantly whispers the allure of more. May we recognize that our deepest wants find fulfillment in you. As we navigate the complexities of our daily lives, let the assurance of your shepherding presence guide us so that we may live with hearts attuned to gratitude and trust. Verse 2, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Father, you are our tender shepherd. We recognize the imagery of rest in these verses. In the hustle and bustle of our lives, grant us the wisdom to discern the moments when you bid us to lie down in the green pastures of your peace. Lead us beside the still waters where the ripples of life's worries are calmed by the gentle breeze of your grace. In the quiet moments of reflection and prayer may our souls find repose, rejuvenating us for the journey ahead. As we rest in your presence, may we be attuned to the whispers of your guidance. Verse 3, He restores my soul, He leads me in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Father, you are restorer of souls, we lift our hearts in gratitude for your transformative power. Life often leaves us weary and broken, yet in your boundless love, you restore our souls. As we tread the pathways of righteousness, may our lives become a reflection of your character. In the New Testament, we see the Good Shepherd, Jesus Christ, who not only leads us in paths of righteousness, but is the very embodiment of righteousness. Help us, O Lord, to follow in his footsteps, that your name may be glorified in all we do. Verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Faithful Father, you are our guardian. In the shadowed valleys of life, we acknowledge the inevitability of trials and tribulations. Yet, our hearts find solace in the assurance that you are with us. Your rod and staff, symbols of guidance and protection, offer comfort in the face of adversity. As we navigate the valleys, may our faith be unwavering, grounded in the truth that your presence dispels all fear. In the New Testament, we see Jesus as the ultimate guardian who, with the rod of truth and the staff of grace, leads us through the darkest valleys into the light of eternal life. Verse 5, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Gracious host, in the midst of life's battles, you invite us to a banquet of abundance. Even in the presence of enemies, your table is spread before us. The imagery of anointing with oil speaks of your consecration and favor. Our cups overflow with your goodness and grace. In the New Testament, we see Jesus, the Anointed One, who prepares a table of fellowship through his sacrifice on the cross. May our lives be a reflection of this divine banquet, where love triumphs over enmity and grace overflows in abundance. Verse 6, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Eternal Companion, we conclude our exploration of Psalm 23 with a resounding declaration of your goodness and mercy. In every step may we be aware of your benevolent presence. As we walk through the landscapes of time, may goodness and mercy be our constant companions. The promise of dwelling in your house forever echoes with eternal hope. In the New Testament, we find Jesus proclaiming, In my Father's house are many rooms, John 14, 2, assuring us of an eternal dwelling place prepared for those who follow him. May this hope anchor our souls in the storms of life. Psalm 23 in the New Testament, as we weave the lessons of Psalm 23 into the fabric of our lives, let us also explore its resonances in the teachings and life of Jesus as recorded in the New Testament. 1. The Good Shepherd, John 10, 11, 18. In John's Gospel, Jesus identifies himself as the Good Shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. The echo of Psalm 23 is unmistakable as Jesus speaks of the intimate relationship between the shepherd and the sheep. 
I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. John 10 11. As we contemplate the lessons of Psalm 23, may we find deep meaning in the truth that our shepherd Jesus Christ sacrificially laid down his life for our redemption. To rest in Christ, Matthew 11, 28, 30, Jesus extends an invitation to all who are weary and burdened, echoing the restful imagery found in Psalm 23. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew 11, 28, 29. In the green pastures of Christ's grace, may we find the rest that our souls deeply crave. 3. The Way, the Truth, and the Life, John 14, 6. Jesus declares himself as the way, the truth, and the life. In the paths of righteousness mentioned in Psalm 23, we find the embodiment of these attributes in Christ. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, John 14, 6. As we navigate the pathways of life, may our journey be aligned with the truth found in Jesus, the Good Shepherd who leads us into eternal life. For abundant life, John 10.10, 10, Jesus promises abundant life to those who follow him, echoing the overflowing cup of Psalm 23. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full, John 10.10. 10. In the abundance of Christ's life, may our cups overflow with the richness of his love, grace and purpose. Heavenly Father, as we conclude this devotional prayer on Psalm 23 and its echoes in the New Testament, we are grateful for the timeless truths that guide us through the landscapes of our lives. May the lessons of trust, rest, restoration, courage, abundance and eternal hope resonate in our hearts and shape our daily existence. In the symphony of your word, may the melody of Psalm 23 harmonize with the teachings of Jesus the Good Shepherd. As we journey onward, may your guidance be our constant companion and your grace our sustaining force. In the name of the Shepherd Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.